What's new in the July build of Pixel 4 XL ROM for the Xiaomi Poco F1? What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in the July build of Pixel 4 XL ROM for the Poco F1. As you can see, the first change is that the security patch has been updated to July of 5th, 2020. The next change is that this build now comes with Adil's own Genos kernel. Next up, they have fixed IR camera access. What does this mean? This means that you can now use the IR camera on the front to take pictures. I am using an application called Camera IR, the link to which can be found in the pinned comment on this video. And as you can see, as soon as I open the application, it is using the front IR camera and bam, there it is. We did take a picture successfully. Does this mean that IR face unlock will soon be working? Well, the chances of that at the time of recording this video are 0%. So yes, it is sad news, but it is what it is. And here is the picture which we just took. Next up, they have also fixed access to auxiliary cameras. What does that mean? That means if I'm using ANX camera, now the portrait pictures will work absolutely fine and you will have blur in your portrait pictures. The version of ANX camera which I am using right now is of course a Magisk module and these are the two modules I have installed. So I have installed the 48 megapixel fix and I have also installed version 185 the salty build and it is working absolutely fine. An important thing to note is that if you install ANX camera module, when you open the application for the first time, it might not work. So in that case, you'll have to go into settings. You'll go into apps and notification, open ANX camera, go into permissions and make sure that it is allowed all these permissions. When I installed ANX camera for the first time, the permissions were not allowed. So I had to allow them manually. And once I did that, everything was working fine. Next up, they have also fixed offline charging so you should not face any more issues with your device charging when it is turned off and they have also disabled apk verification which means that in case you want to install youtube vanced on your device and it is rooted you would not have to use lucky patcher just follow the process and it should work absolutely fine i do have a video on how to install youtube vanced on rooted devices which can be found in the pinned comment on this video talking about root access so safety net does not pass out of the box you will have to root your device using magisk and once you have rooted your device using magisk you can go into settings and then make sure that you enable magisk hide once you have enabled magisk hide safety net should pass so we can tap to start the safety net check there it is you can see that safety net both the check marks are green which means that you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. Now in terms of gestures, smoothness, I did not find any issues with respect to that. The ROM is but a smooth and there it is peeps. That was a short video showing you the new features of the Pixel 4 XL ROM July build running on the Poco F1. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.